Good morning. Thank you all for joining us today to celebrate this important event. I'm Mike Kazmersky, CEO of EDON, and I want to welcome you to our third virtual new company press conference and our first of 2021. It's nice to have good news to celebrate as we come closer to the end of this darn pandemic. We are now over one-third vaccinated as a nation. Just realize that, one-third vaccinated, that counts the first shot, which gives you 80% protection. So I hope I, this is our last virtual event because people are really ready for the face-to-face -face opportunities, networking, and, and eat on events that we expect to start up here pretty soon. Today we'll be announcing two exciting tech companies totaling more than 200 biotech and fintech jobs with great wages. These announcements are especially important given the number of jobs we expect to be permanently lost as a result of the pandemic and our acceleration to automation and artificial intelligence. We all know job losses are coming. So bringing in the jobs that are gonna be here, not just tomorrow or next year, but 10 years from now, is really what we're focused on. These new companies will also continue to reinforce our collective efforts to diversify our economy. Our diversif diversification efforts were tested during this pandemic. We're excited to report that we're doing much better than most of the country. Our unemployment rate at 4.9% is well below the national average and less than half that of Las Vegas. Our job attraction strategy continues to focus on high wages, especially advanced manufacturing and technology companies with the growing tech ecosystem that is really helping our economy prosper here in the North. Today, we're fortunate to have our Lieutenant Governor, Kate Marshall, to help us welcome these new companies to our state. We appreciate, certainly appreciate her time. It's no doubt she has a full plate as she presides over the Senate during this legislative session that is now in full swing. Lieutenant Governor also led the way on the Deliver with Dignity food program in Reno Sparks that started last May and has delivered, get this, 72,000 so far, hot meals for individuals who are struggling financially, the elderly, and those most at risk of contracting the coronavirus. Please help me welcome our Lieutenant Governor, Kate Marshall. Good morning, how are you? It is so exciting for me every time to talk about where we are in Northern Nevada. When you talk about the future, part of that future is biotech and STEM Express, which is one of the companies that we are introducing today through Kate Dyer is part of that answer. They are coming here to Northern Nevada because Northern Nevada is becoming a biotech hub. They basically do stem cell, tissue cell collection, where they separate, prepare, and identify those so that doctors, hospitals, researchers can then provide answers for those kinds of diseases that really have to be addressed going forward. Not only that, but this is a company, the kind of company that we love in Northern Nevada, that when COVID came, they shifted and became the gold standard for COVID testing. That's what we love about companies that we attract here because they are part of our entrepreneurial spirit. I am very, very proud and honored that Kate Dyer would consider coming here to Northern Nevada. And I know that Mike Kazmierski, he wants to be, you know, he wants to play it down and say, oh, uh, we're, we're going to come out of this, but I'm going to tell you that Northern Nevada is going to roar out of this. Yes, so Kate Dyer, it is with great pleasure that I announce you for STEM Express. Thank you.
everyone, and uh, thank you so much, Kate, for that great introduction, and Michael as well. Um, we are so excited to uh, be opening a very large location here in northern Nevada. Um, we have a number of locations around the United States, and as Kate mentioned, our core focus as a company is, is biotech and life science, but also cell therapy and gene therapy that comes to commercialization. And I started the company, I'm the founder, I started the company in 2010, and we've seen tremendous amount of growth since first uh, launching uh, in California. And I would say that, you know, uh, what Kate mentioned too as well, this last year has been, I know, just a roller coaster for so many people. Um, we actually, when the pandemic first hit, reached out to the federal government and started looking at ways that we could help take seven of our laboratories around the United States and start offering COVID testing on a local basis, not only to support nursing homes, but Indian tribal communities, as well as just the general public that couldn't get access to good testing. What we never imagined really happened during that time was also working with all of our hospital partners. We added 32 hospitals this last year that we actually took over a lot of their testing needs because they were running out of supplies and just couldn't keep up with the demand. Um, one of the things we've all noticed, uh, you know, during this time, right, is, is the type of companies that STEM Express supports. You know, we function pr pretty much all major academic uh, universities, medical schools, et cetera, but also the private sector that does device development, that works on new drug therapies, um, and that ultimately, even in cases like with Moderna and Pfizer, you know, create a vaccine, um, our clients of ours as well. I think so much of the crucial work that we do is about reducing suffering in the world. Um, you know, I have been, I was pre-med is, is my background and worked at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital for a number of years, working in transplant therapies. And I realized that we needed to get ahead of what so many of these diseases were affecting us. You know, I oftentimes use the example that it's not until someone is sometimes coughing up blood coming into an ER that we find out that they had lung cancer. But it's not that they just had lung cancer that day. It was likely years before that this was going on and we weren't able to discover it. And so we've worked with numerous um, uh, companies that are creating what's called like blood biopsy um, testing that where they can actually take blood samples and we can isolate the cancerous cells that we see in the blood long before even sometimes tumors show up in scans. Um, that's very progressive when you think about medicine and where it's going. And we're extremely excited to be participating with so many hospitals that are very much focused on this type of care as well. Um, we're excited about what we can do here to bring to the region, the type of cutting edge treatments that we can bring to the community and just access to, to cutting edge therapies that are coming down the line. Um, I would be amiss to tell you guys our, our newest building that we just acquired actually from IGT is over in South Meadows. Um, we have started hiring. We're very excited about a lot of the candidates we're seeing that are coming through to us. And I would say too, to Kate's mention with this, um, you know, we just actually hired a few people that came out of IGT. And I'll tell you that there's a lot of cross-functional um, positions up here that I think are very exciting for us. You know, some somebody who might work in gaming, for example, in a high security and high networking capacity. Well, that's also crucial to us when we're dealing with patient records, patient information, and so on. And so I think we're, we're very excited about the type of candidates we're seeing. We're gonna be doing um, job fairs over the next number of months and through the end of the year. I know on our website you can go to that and uh, look at our career section to see more information about that. But uh, we are just so excited to be here, so excited to be in the region and really be a, a great partner to the Reno Sparks area. Thank you. So Part of what happens when you're building an entrepreneurial ecosystem is that you have biotech companies and then you have companies that actually serve small businesses. We've heard a lot about what ha has happened to small businesses during this pandemic. And so part of what we're doing in Northern Nevada, and note I say we when it's really Mike Kazmierski and his team, but I like to, you know, I like to stand shoulder to shoulder with their success. Um, part of what we're doing is attracting other entrepreneurs that add to and build out that ecosystem. So what I want to say about Pay Certify is we have an entrepreneurial network and they are a network for entrepreneurs. Pay Certify really offers uh, payment options and data so that the small business can see things front to back and back to front. And so it was with great honor that I introduce Chase Har Harmer, is that right, of Pay Certify. Thank you.
Welcome to Pay Certify. I'm so glad you made it here to be a part of the greatest disruption in payments history. As an all-in-one platform, Pay Certify combines the power of acquiring and issuing payments, innovating new profit centers for merchants worldwide. With Pay Certify's fraud prevention engine, your transactions are covered 100%, allowing you to focus on what matters most, your business. Increase your revenue up to 10% through frictionless payment processing, automated virtual cards, and seamless fraud prevention. As a company that understands the journey of the entrepreneur and the challenges that you face along the way, Pay Certify is committed to empowering digital merchants and marketplaces across the globe. Pay less, profit more. Pay Certify, pioneering profit through payments. <laughs> um, hello, my name is Chase Harmer. Thank you guys so much for having me here. I'm very excited to be in, in Nevada. Um, we actually, it was always a game plan of ours to move from California. I am from Silicon Valley, the old, the old Silicon Valley, you know, where San Jose uh, was located. I was born and raised in, in San Jose, got a track scholarship to Cal Poly, became an entrepreneur at 19 years old, and really built a very big business processing billions of dollars all over the globe. We specialize in helping digital uh, merchants and marketplaces. So if you are a digital business online, or if you're looking to empower digital merchants online, we're a great solution for that. Part of the reason why I came to Nevada was in, in Reno specifically, was because they have a great entrepreneurial network here, and we have a nonprofit that's focused on giving grants and scholarships to founders and entrepreneurs that are looking to grow their business because we know that it's hard to build technology. We understand that it's hard to build process um, and take that into profitability. Um, so we want to help entrepreneurs that are struggling to get there but have great ideas to build process and into great products and uh, think, uh, other, other initiatives that can help um, people and consumers and regular everyday people pay and get paid and earn cash back on their, on their money that they're spending every single day. So um, being, being part of the new Silicon Valley Entrepreneurial Network and being able to help these founders out here that are really out here doing stuff and building what's going to be next um, in payments but next worldwide is, uh, is very exciting and we're honored to be a part of here, uh, be a part of Reno and be a part of uh, what's next for the future. So thank you guys so much. So wow, isn't that exciting? Two amazing new companies, and we've just given you a window into what's going on in this region. This excitement is something that's building. As our Lieutenant Governor said, she really thinks we're gonna blow the top off it here in the coming year, and, and I'm afraid she's probably gonna be right as usual. I want to thank our Lieutenant Governor for representing our state and welcoming our new companies. Let's give her a big round of applause. Doesn't she do a great job? She does her own research, by the way. Uh, we don't send her a script or anything else, and she knows more about the companies than, than, than I can imagine most people because she takes the time to really learn about them and understand them. And, and it really is important that our state government is willing to engage and get involved in what's going on here, and, and she's really... Uh, a testament to that, so a, a special thanks to you, Kate. These companies are just two of several announcements that we have in the next few months. Let me say that again. These, these two great companies are just two of several we have planned in the next few months. We have close to a dozen, I think Stan's probably holding a few back, that we're working with now that are likely to relocate here. In fact, in addition to two, these 200 high-paying jobs, we recently closed three other companies totaling over 570, 575 jobs, two corporate headquarters, all jobs paying well above our average wage. Those are closed, and another 12 that are getting close to closing. So it's not slowing down, is it? To Kate and Chase, I can promise you that EDON, our chamber, local and state governments, our education institutions, and the community overall will work with you to make sure that your transi transition goes smooth and that we maintain a business climate that supports your long-term success here in the region. In fact, I was ex especially uh, excited to hear about our entrepreneurial ecosystem because we put close to 10 years of work as a community into growing an ecosystem that is receptive to great companies like these. Our mission to attract new companies to our region is really a team effort. 
And I would like to thank a few people that were personally involved in assisting us with these companies. And this really is about the team, the Edon team, not just Edon, because we're small but mighty, I'll give you that, but without our, all the help from all the community partners and all our members, we couldn't do what we do. So I wanna call out Chris Pingren and Angela Fuss at the City of Reno, Department of Community Development for, for their assistance with STEM Express, Dave Simonson of Newmark Knight Frank for working with STEM Express, funding, finding the right properties for the new operation in South Reno, Tom Fennell, Don, Dominic Brunetti, and Patrick Riggs from Dixon Commercial Group for working with Pay Certify to lo lo locate their new office. Of course, members of the EDON organization, the business development team, Stan Thomas, Chris Alt Jr., and Norma Yamanji, the entrepreneurial team, Doug Irwin, Brian McCarl, Katie Freeman, and Victor Andres for their assistance from start to finish. And again, it's a team effort. We work entrepreneurial team with the attraction team because there's a great mix there. The rest of the EDON staff, our board and major investors. And finally, our talented SOSU TV team, Mark, Jonathan, and Dana Hajakis. And a special thanks to Grace Chow and her team for hosting us here at the Innovation Center. Again, this is a pretty exciting time for us. I'll tell you that as a region, we continue to see success. Companies like this and announcements like this are our opportunity to showcase some of the new companies to the region. And what, what I like to tell our companies is this is a welcoming community. And what you're doing is you're joining a family that cares about you. So as you join for STEM Express and Pay Certify, you can trust that you're now part of our family. Again, thank you all for joining us today, and we really appreciate the exciting opportunity to showcase two amazing new companies. Have a great day.